Today we're talking cut content within Fortnite Creative because I've always found like content that's been developed on for a while in a video game but then scrapped before release really interesting and Fortnite Creative is no exception. There is a lot of content that Epic Games worked on for a while or even completely finished but then they just never gave us which I think is always really really cool. So I've got a few devices, a few items, a few islands and a few prefabs all of which have never been released. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Starting with the chair device, this one was added around chapter three, season one, I think, and it could release at any time. I think I'm pretty sure it's done, but it's like never been released. And basically it just lets you sit down. There's versions for the, the main style is the agency, Midas chair. Then there's, there's like a normal chair. There's the, the, the volcano chair and stuff. There's a bunch of cool things. It's just a cool device, you know, an actual working chair. Why not? That'd be quite cool to see in creative and I'm sure we'll get it eventually, but right now it is unreleased. The clapboard device was used only for an early version of the Easy Life with the O2 concert and will most likely never get released. What it was going to do was send signals when a certain second was reached in the video player or Llamatron's video stream. But as of update version 17.40 during chapter two season seven, it has been removed. Next up is the Grabatron controller, which is a device version of the Grabatron item from Battle Royale Chapter 2 Season 7. Now this is a really interesting one because we never got the Grabatron or the Grabatron controller and with how long it's been since the controller was worked on, it's likely that we'll never get this device. Despite the fact that we have the Grabatron ability in the UFO vehicle and we've had that since Season 7, which I find quite interesting that we never got the item or the device version. Then we've got the Clombo spawner, which basically spawns a Clombo from Chapter 3 Season 1. Now, towards the end of Chapter 3 Season 1, this started getting worked on. I think it was updated a little bit in Chapter 3 Season 2. It basically just spawns a Clombo, and each of the Clombo has customizable settings, such as the visual style from the biomes, the damage it does, how long the angry mode works for but for some reason it hasn't been updated in nearly a year at this point so i don't know if we'll ever get it i hope we do because colombo is awesome but uh i wouldn't get your hopes up the melee modifier device seems to be an early version of the released melee manager device it supports the basic sword the basic hammer and the basic spear which is currently unreleased and it was accidentally released version 20.20 .20, which added the greasy grove island and the battle bus and yeah it was it's never been heard from since. It was added accidentally, then it was removed in a hotfix soon after the update's launch, and it's never been seen again. So my assumption is that it's simply an early version of the device, and that we'll probably never get it in creative, but it's, it's pretty cool. Next up is the Storm King spawner. There is actually a video leaked for this one. Way back in Chapter 2 Season 1, I will include that video here, if, if I can find it. So, uh, yeah, take a look. So there you go, that was the Storm King spawner. It was added during chapter three, it was added during chapter two, season one, around the time of Fortnite Mess 2019. Basically would have just spawned the Storm King from the Storm King LTM. And then, sadly it got removed during chapter two, season two, and has never been updated since, never been re-added. So it's more than likely that this has been scrapped forever. Which is a shame, since I was actually really looking forward to this when I found out about it. Now moving on to some items, we've only got five, and some of them are technically from Battle Royale, but I'm including them here as they would have been added to Creative most likely. First up, we've got the Blade, which is from Creative. It was used in the Melee Manager device for the longest time. It was basically just the only, it was the only melee weapon that they were using to test it. But it has since seemingly been replaced with the Basic Sword, the Basic Hammer, and the currently unreleased Basic Spear. I won't be mentioning the spear much as it's more than likely that will eventually get added. The splinter bow was worked on for an LTM during chapter two, season six, but was scrapped and never got released and was never even finished. So it was pr presumably, it was scrapped sometime after they made the render, but before they finished the weapon entirely. We also have three exotic weapons from around, I wanna say chapter two, season five, the Burrows assault rifle, the running gun SMG, and the frozen SMG. 
The burst assault rifle would have had a large amount of bullets fired per burst, the run and gun SMG would make you run faster, and the frozen SMG would cause the frozen feet effect on opponent's shot. Moving on to islands, we have a few that aren't that interesting, and then a couple that are a bit more interesting. So we've got a couple of arid islands, which just seem to be copies of the arid island we actually got, so that's not really interesting. A map called Arena Aftermath, which just seems to be the Horseshoe Island. Sure. Four featured islands that don't have icons, so we don't know what it was. A beta version of the Thermometer Island, which is the large grid. And then three, no, four islands using the Loki tag, and we have no idea what these were. There's Loki Dock, Loki Forest, Loki Snow, and Loki Island, and we have no clue what these are. Stray Kite Mall Heist, again, no clue. Might have been possibly a tutorial island or something. The Power Plant Island, which just seems to be a version of the Shoreline Island, which maybe had the, the steamy stacks pieces on it or something, I don't know. And then Temperate Hub 001, which is slightly more notable, and we'll get into why in a second. And then finally, there's three working progress versions of the Block Tilted Islands. However, by far the most exciting ones were the Combine Island, which I cannot find any photos of or any record of, but I know it existed, it was a Creative Island version of the Combine. LTM from Season X, so if I find an image of that I'll throw it up on the screen. And the Monster Skull Island, which was also added in Season X. This island had Chapter 1 terrain with jungle nature, but also the Skull of the Devourer from the final showdown. However, it seems that this island was scrapped and eventually the Devourer Skull simply became a prefab and a gallery instead. Finally, moving on to prefabs, we have five prefabs, one of which actually was released but I'm including it here because it's notable as it was added in the same update, seems to be on the same sort of wavelength as the other prefabs, and is the only one to be released. So we've got Tilted Noms, which is from Tilted Towers, which was added in version 7.10, right after the launch of Creative, and also the Apartments from Tilted Towers. Both of these, I believe, are actually from Tilted Towers itself, from the POI, but for some reason, despite being added into Creative, being fully functional, they were never released. However, the next three, are the T apartments, the lofts, and the office. And all of these were not in Tilted Towers, despite being part of the Tilted Towers category and added in the same update as the previous two. These, I believe, are all from Save the World. T apartments and lofts, I haven't seen before. However, the office actually did get released during Chapter 2 Season 7, strangely, just randomly in an update. However, the other two remain unreleased. I do believe all of these are from Save the World mode. So that's all the unreleased content that I could find for Fortnite Creative. If you can think of anything else, let me know in the description and I'll mention it. But yeah, I think I think this stuff's just really fascinating to talk about because it's stuff that Epic Games worked on, they put time and effort into, but it never got released for whatever reasons. Some of them make sense, like some of the devices maybe weren't working properly, caused bugs or something, and some of them are completely random, like why did we get the Office prefab but none of the others? Why didn't we get anything else from Tilted Towers? It, it's strange, but uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed. Use my code or you will get scrapped. Haha. -ha.